I think I was mostly just in shock. I said, oh my god. I kind of kept asking my roommates, what do I do? What do I do? Like, oh my god, this is so ridiculous. I got up. I didn't touch anything. I just left the room because it was pretty creepy. I tried to warn them. But some people just have to learn from themselves, I suppose. The squirrels are very interesting. I refer to them generally as velociraptors because they're very, very smart. I didn't realize squirrels could be so clever. I woke up and I felt something stepping on my shoulder and stepping back around my head on the pillow. I sort of sat bolt up and there was a squirrel on my pillow with a cookie in his mouth. I was starting my homework on the futon and then I looked over and it was actually this giant squirrel sitting there staring at me. In terms of how often they break into the building, it kind of depends on the opportunities that they're given. One person happens to leave their window open with potato chips on the table or fruit or whatever. They'll see it, smell it, they'll get in there, maybe from the tree, or they'll just scale the building. They'll go up to the windows if the screen is closed. No big deal, they'll just chew right through it, not a problem. The night before, these two girls had made cookies in the kitchen. They had came and um, given me one, and so I was sitting on my desk, and that's why it came in. The squirrel broke in through that window over there behind me. Eventually ended up um, my bed up there. The squirrel broke in right behind me. It tore open the screen, as you can see. And the window was open for cool air, so it just came in. And it got into Lara, my roommate's set of pistachios. In the moment, my main feeling was, oh my gosh, I hope it doesn't pee on my stuff saw that the squirrel had peed on my computer and uh, I guess I just spent that morning changing my sheets and washing off my computer. If the squirrel is out and escaped, then you're screwed because the other squirrels then learn. That squirrel knows, its friends will find out, and then it's all on war. And the squirrels, they, they know that's where the food is and they'll just start looking for those windows. I was just running around the room like crazy. Eventually, it jumped back up onto my desk and ran out through the window. Zach said we had to keep that window shut because he said that now the other squirrels will know that this is a hot spot and that they can get in and get our food. So in regards to the emotional impacts that the squirrels have had, I mean, it's got to be somewhat detrimental to students because, especially if you have a squirrel come into your room and you're first confused, like, did somebody break into my room? No, not a person, an animal a squirrel broke in and you can't do anything about it. I actually thought there was a person in the room hiding behind Lara's bed. It was very loud. It was a very loud sound. You underestimate them and then all of a sudden you're not laughing anymore. You're crying because your food is destroyed. It's gone. It's a nightmare. You know, I was mostly just in shock. Um, it's you don't often have that close of contact with squirrels. My adrenaline got going and they just made it personal. When I saw the squirrel, I just said, oh my god, and then I was afraid that I'd be locked in with the squirrel. The squirrels here at CC, I think, are, are so bad in particular in this area because they're used to the people, they see them all over the place, they get brave, they get territorial. It's just a free abundance of food, they have no fear of us. Over the years, the barrier between humans and squirrels has been broken down so much where they really aren't scared of us as they should be. They're pretty gutsy around here on the campus. Like they took it to a new level by crawling into my bed with me. I believe that there is something wrong with the squirrels in Colorado Springs. If I could say something to that particular squirrel, I would say stay out of my bedroom. Please, squirrel, do not pee on my bed. Please. Slowly, they're taking over.